shoot. Oh, great. Feed and finish. Tevian Jones. It looks like Barker will do her signature flip throw in Illinois tradition. Hillman very nearly shot it over the head. And right there, it's a goal for the Illini. Morgan Maroney was able to recover with a header. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung out, grounded towards the second baseman. Beautiful stop over at shortstop. She makes the play. Kate Weiniger gets the Illinois pitch, pitcher out of this jam with a beautiful diving stop to get the third out. Coming back right, got past Bell. Now weaves into the paint, kicks it all the way out to the corner. Scott for three, good. Wow, Illinois up two possessions here with 19 and a half seconds. Look at him. I mean, if you're a safety, that's a nightmare. Come on there, A.J. Bush. Get out of the way. The worst thing you can have is you can fall down and I'm going to trip over you. Other than that, the only thing going to stop me is the goalpost. Here's Kendall White with a serve. It's dug out by O'Brien. Falter over to Bastardinelli. A bullet right there. White, and they free ball it over from Reed and Bastianelli comes back again and they're forced to free ball it over again. Here's Poulter back to Bastianelli and this time we'll see a third time that they're able to free ball it over and Jordan Poulter had enough of it right there and a big time play for Jordan Poulter. That one lined out into left center field, getting caught up in the wind, and that is a grand salami. Katie Wingerter puts the fighting Illini up six here in the top of the third. Just a big mistake by Ducey, left it right over the heart of the plate. She turned the barrel around, squared it up, shot it to left center. Quay back in there with four fouls. Winston has four fouls. Desumu, three! to this, watch, stop right behind the handoff. That is not easy, you gotta go over the top. This won't end well for Illinois. Here's a three, oh. it ended well. <laughs> it ended well. Oh, what a shot. That is gonna put the finishing touches on a huge one. And here they come, they should, they deserve it. Storm Illini, storm. And gotten it, Odin gets it right back though. Well, just look at her rising up and getting connected with the basketball on the block. Another play action throw and a completion. And Ricky Smalling is off to the races. Gets by Jacob Hunt and gets into the end zone for a 67 yard score. Coordinator Rod Smith said we need to get Ricky Smalling more involved in this offense. I think this qualifies as more involved in the offense. They don't get the first down on this play. Look for him to go for it on fourth down. Third and seven at the nine. Bush sets for the end zone. Juggling catch for the touchdown. What a grab is spectacular. Look at the concentration. Try and get a base knock here for the Illini. Oni connects with one, deep into left field. Put it on the board and the Illini are gonna walk it off against the Purdue Boilermakers. Zach Taylor crushes one over the left field fence. And the Illini are surrounding him at home play as he comes to the plate. Big win for Illinois. George. 
ball sent in. Driven across the face of goal. Cleared away by Megan Scott. Still a loose ball. The shot, the goal. It's a goal for the Fighting Illini. And they win it late on in double overtime in Champaign. Hope Breslin gets the goal, just capping off. Definitely woman of the match performance for the sophomore midfielder as she got the final touch there. That one looked like it was going out because Thomas. Is... That's okay. That Prince does it.